Now we have finished putting on the first coat. It's dry and we're gonna put on the second coat. And this coat is where we're gonna have the timing to close it up and to smooth it out and to close the pores and give it that fine, smooth look that Venetian plaster has with the organic shaped pox in it. So when I'm mixing up the Piatto, I actually try not to mix it totally in with the color so that I can get those lighter drifts of um, the plaster showing through. It kind of helps give it a little bit more of that organic light and dark look. And you'll see it when I put it on, that those streaks of the lighter color comes through and it gives you a little bit more of that natural look. And this will be like the first of the natural pox. So we're creating those shapes. that we've covered the wall uh, with the second coat and you'll kind of have to go back and forth and do this but you'll see it as it dries that we're going to go back in and close out the pores and seal the plaster so that it ends up having that really nice smooth finish it's kind of burnishing it while it's wet but it's a timing thing so if you're burnishing it and it feels like it's a little too wet and lifting up then you, you need to stop and just give it a little bit more time and then go back in and start burnishing it again. And burnishing it is just lightly pulling your trowel. And of course, you've cleaned your trowel and such. And you just put about a medium amount of pressure. And you want to try and hit it on the sweet spot on the trowel. As you're burnishing, you can feel where you've gone and you can feel how smooth it is. And then you can feel the roughness of where you haven't done it. Sometimes you get a little bit distracted as to, to where you finished when you're moving across the wall. I have finished burnishing the wall and it now feels all very smooth. You can keep burnishing it if you want to keep on getting a little bit more sheen out of this product. I kind of like to leave it a little bit more on a dull note, but we're going to let it finish drying overnight and then we're going to come back and put the stencil on it tomorrow.